some banks allow you to manually download a specifically date range of transactions, but you have to go through their bank account directly. Chase, for example, which is a bank account that I use, has a button here on the right side that says download account activity. You click on that and then you select the bank account that you want to download from. You select the type. It needs to be this one called QuickBooks Web Connect QBO. And then under activity, you have to choose the date range. And you would pick, for example, let's say I want to do all of 2017, 01, 01, 2017, and then 10, 20, let's see what was the last one. It was the 23rd. So I want to download up to the 22nd, 2017. Now that's assuming that your bank actually allows you to pick a date range like that. There are some banks that only allow you to download one month at a time instead of picking an actual date range. So if you were going to download a month at a time, you would have to go into QuickBooks and delete all the transactions for October, right? So uh, for example, the way you would do that is you would uh, come down here and select all the October transactions. You can click on all of them. There shouldn't be that many. You can also uh, shift click if you want to select a whole range. You would shift click a whole range and then click on exclude selected. So if you were to do that, exclude selected, you can then download the whole month of October um, as a whole. That's again, only if your bank only allows you to bring complete months at a time on the manual download. Now in Chase, which is the bank that I use, I can actually pick a date range. So that's actually the very best possible scenario. So because I have that, then I'm picking that specific date based on the last transaction that downloaded from the 90 day range. And, um, and I was able to do that, but otherwise you would have to just cut off a whole month and then manually download each month at a time. And then I'll just click download. And then once the download is complete, I'm going to click on next to the update button. I'm going to click on file upload. Then I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to select the file that I just, just downloaded from the bank. Click on open, click on next. Then select the bank account that I want to attach those transactions to. Click on next. Perfect. Once it's done, we click let's go. And we should now have all the transactions that we want. In this case, I got 1200 transactions in there. If I scroll down, I should see transactions uh, already for the entire date range. So once I click on next, I should see all my transactions in here, everything. I'm going to click on last. I should see everything from the beginning of the year. Now